Hi, this is Sebastian from Oscosia. Um, today I want to show you some of the new features of the new Oscosia version. Um, but before we start, the noise you hear in the background is a huge construction site outside of my window, so don't get distracted by that. So, first thing I want to show you is um, this new button up here. This is what we call the support button. And it's supposed to make your life a lot easier in case you got any trouble with your system. So, what you do is you hit that button, you click on start, and after that, you try to reproduce your problem. Um, you can go wherever you need to go to reproduce it, uh, make your phone calls or whatever, come back to this page, hit stop, and after that, all your system information, all your login information is gathered in one file. Um, passwords are taken out, and the whole thing is encrypted. And if you scroll down a bit, you can send it directly to support at escozia.com. Okay? Next thing I want to show you, um, phone settings. A few new things here. Um, this button is new. Um, that brings you directly to the um, web interface of your telephone, if you like to go there. You don't have to remember any IP addresses anymore. And Scosio now supports auto configuration for Linksys, Panasonic, Polycom, Sapura, Snom, Tiptal, and Yearlink. Simply select the manufacturer of your phone, enter your phone's MAC address, and you're good to go. You can also configure um, speed dial buttons here by simply entering a name and number, depending on how many speed dial buttons your telephone has. Okay, we also got some new things in the provider settings. If you go on a VoIP provider, we now got pre-configured providers here. Um, the list is going to grow over the next few months. Um, for example, if you select SIPgate, all the configuration is done for you. The only thing you need to do is to enter your username and password, and that's it. Everything is going to work, um, including caller IDs. Um, also got some usability improvements here down at the outgoing patterns. Um, you can simply select a pattern now. You don't have to play with regular expressions anymore. Um, but if you like to, you still can. Okay, um, next thing I want to show you is called Night Switch. Uh, it's pretty useful for after hours. So there are two different modes. You can select Night Switch Automated, and then you're free to select days of the week. You select a certain time. For example, if you want the Night Switch to be active between 5 and 8 in the morning, do this. And maybe you also want it to be active on the weekends. So you go with active 24 hours. Oops. And that's it. And then you can decide you can either have all the calls forwarded to a certain phone once the night switch is active, or you can play in the night switch message. You can upload those in the media settings. The other thing is you don't have to configure um, a certain time of day when it's active. You can simply put that number here on speed dial and whenever you want the night switch to be active you hit the speed dial button and then it's gonna work. The last thing I want to show you is the phone book. It works for all phones which use auto configuration. You simply hit the plus, you enter another number, enter a name, and hit save. And then all the phone numbers are automatically transferred to the phones which use auto configuration. Pretty sweet feature. Okay, um, thank you for watching this and have a nice day. Goodbye.